Bubakari Samare transferred to the Arsenal and is Ainsley Maitland Niles staying. And that is right, lads. Welcome back to your boys' channel today. We are back again discussing the transfers FC as your boy keeps you up to date with the latest Arsenal transfer news. So, from the transfer of Lille midfielder Bubakari Samare to the Arsenal to also the future of Ainsley Maitland Niles and is he now staying? Also, what is taking Arsenal so long to announce Aubameyang and Gabriel Magalhães? And is Rob holding on his way to Leeds? United. So with that being said guys welcome back to your boys channel and let's get into this and let's discuss a cheeky little bit of transfers FC here we go. Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Babs14 and welcome back to your boys channel. As always, before we get into the video, so be sure to go down there, drop a like on the video and also do subscribe to the channel if you are new. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments below on the players that Arsenal will be linked with. Follow my social media and subscribe to the offside as the links are in the description below. But with that being said guys, let's get into this and let's discuss the latest Arsenal transfer news. Here we go. Starting off with the Lille midfielder Bubikare Samore. Bubikare Samore, that rhymes, aha, not funny. But yeah, in terms of reports, they are coming out today saying that Arsenal as well as AC Milan and Man United have set their sights on Samari of Lille. Now, of course, Samari is a French midfielder who currently plays for Lille. And as you guys know, Arsenal and Lille have a pretty decent relationship. From the transfer of Nicolas Pepe to the transfer that hasn't quite been confirmed yet of Gabriel Magalhães. Arsenal and Lille have that connection, bro. And then you even have reports coming out of France saying that Arsenal are in the running for Lille midfield Samari and have been watching him for a while. And that is something even your boy can confirm. As Bubakari Samari is a player that your boy has been looking at for a while. And I even did a video on this guy back in January. But what type of player is Samari? This guy of course is a box to box central midfielder. Who can go forward, attack as well as defend at a very good level. And overall is a pretty decent prospect as a midfielder. And with him only being still 21 years of age. This guy has a lot of years ahead of him. And he's only going to get better. And make no mistake Samari is definitely a player who Arteta has interest in. Because if you guys have to cast your minds back to Granite Xhaka and the whole saga. At a time when Xhaka looked like he was even Arsenal, so Mario was touted as a potential replacement. But of course Xhaka ended up staying and the rest is beautiful Rigmontada history. But in the case of the transfer of Bubakari Samari, Arsenal will link with him heavy in January and will back again today. And also with Samari being a midfielder and Arsenal was certainly looking to strengthen that midfield, I think this move does make a lot of sense. In terms of Samari, he would fit perfectly in any position in the midfield three. He can play as a deep line playmaker as well as that box to box Villa can go up and down and also has a cheeky little sprinkle of creativity in him as well. Overall Samari is a very complete midfielder and a midfielder has a lot of potential but then again this isn't career mode and so is Samari going to be Arsenal's first option or is it going to be players like Partey, Awa or man like Thiago at in terms of In terms of my personal thoughts I do like Samari I think he's a very decent player and if Arsenal were to sign him I think he would be a decent little signing but by no means is he anywhere near the level of Thomas Partey or Hassan Awa. But let's let me know your thoughts in the comments below on Samari. Do you rate him? Do you like him? Do you even know who he is? And should also go out there and sign him? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Moving on lads to Ainsley Maitland Niles. Because this might just be a case of Sequeda, meaning he stays. Because David Ornstein has confirmed today that a bid from Wolves has been rejected by Arsenal as it was below the £20 million asking fee. With teams in Germany now preparing bids. You see that Wolves? If you don't pay us the money, then get lost. We don't want to talk to you. And so with that being said, reports are now claiming that Wolves are now moving on to other targets for right backs. And so that could mean only two things. Either they've lost the pursuit of Ainsley Metnaus and they can't sign him anymore, or maybe they're trying to sign Metnaus and a right back, meaning Metnaus might play in a midfield role. Now, me personally, I'm not quite sure, but make no mistake, I do believe Arteta wants to keep Ainsley Metnaus at the club. I've said it before and I'll say it again Metnaus is a very useful player to have in the squad. He's able to play in so many different roles and to a very good standard as well. And as you saw in the FA Cup final, the man can play our position as a left wing back and still perform to a very good level. And I do believe he is a far more dynamic option than Hector Bellerin. And in terms of Ainsley Metnaus as a right back, I think if he gets his head down and works on it and works and becomes better, I think. I think he is a perfectly capable right back as well and so with him being such a useful player to Arteta I do believe they are trying to make him stay and convince him that Arsenal is the place for him and then you also have reports that Arsenal are offering out Hector Bellerin to Paris Saint-Germain 
And so from the looks of things and reports, Arsenal would rather keep Maitland Niles and sell Hector Bellerin. But lads, what do you think of that? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What would you do? Would you sell Wednesday Maitland Niles or sell Bellerin? Who would you keep? Who's the better player? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. But in the case of Wednesday Maitland Niles, there may just be a beautiful remontada and Izzy Sequeda. Does that mean he is staying? Moving on lads to Aubameyang and Gabriel Magalhaes. I went one video without mentioning this guy and we're back again. Here we are. But this is less about the players themselves it's about Arsenal Football Club what are you doing how long do you want us guys to wait with well, the amount of time that you've taken to announce Aubameyang and Gabriel I could have you know grown up grown an actual beard got married and had three kids what are you waiting for let's start off with Aubameyang this is a deal that we as Arsenal fans have known is been done for a while the reports are there the confirmed verified reliable sources are all saying the same thing Aubameyang is going to stay at the Arsenal so I just don't understand what is taking this so long he's been back in london and you've had time to shoot a video and make an announcement video but for some reason it still hasn't been announced we even saw him play yesterday against mk dons and he still hasn't confirmed that he's staying at arsenal now i'm not trying to get you guys worried here i'm just trying to get arsenal to wake up and get off their ass and make things happen announce about his contract asap and then you also have the case of your boy's favorite guy gabriel magales because this guy has been in london for a few days now he has passed his medical he's done all of that stuff he's even signed the contract but for some reason Arsenal still have not announced this guy as an Arsenal player and again I don't know what's going on who on earth is editing this announcement video are we editing an announcement video or are we editing a documentary hurry up Arsenal Arsenal are nearly as slow when it comes to announcing transfers as prime per murder sucker. Apply a cheeky little shadow chemistry style, whack on the burners and make sure that these players are announced as soon as possible because the fans are just getting bored. The excitement has gone. We know what is going on yet we know so less. And so now Arsenal this is a message to you. Get off their ass. don't know what you guys are doing. Edit those videos, announcement videos and all those social media stuff and announce Aubameyang and Gabriel Magalhaes as an Arsenal player and then after the new contract do it now and wake up come on you got it and finally lads let's discuss man like rob holding because this guy could be on his way out of arsenal football club as reports are claiming that newcastle and leeds united are both interested in rob holding on a loan transfer did i just hear loan no 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 we are not having that because in terms of rob holding this guy is a very viable asset arsenal can sell and make a decent little money off it this guy after is 24 years of age he has premier league experience and is premier league proven as well to an extent and so with Leeds United coming into the Premier League, Arsenal could easily command a fee of 15 to 20 to even more than that for Rob Holding. I mean, you only have to look at Bournemouth. These guys have commanded 20 million pounds for Aaron Ramsdale. Now, Ramsdale might just be a decent little goalkeeper, but then surely Arsenal can command a far higher fee for Rob Holding. Because on one hand, you have relegated Bournemouth and then you have uh, Europa League Arsenal, which doesn't sound any better. But the whole point I'm trying to make to you guys is Rob Holding should be sold for a very decent fee. Arthur, not only does he have that Premier League experience, but he's also an English player and as you guys know there is an English premium in the Premier League market and also in terms of Rob Holding's future the Arsenal I think it is basically over no it's not because of that own goal he scored yesterday which I don't know how he does that Rob what are you doing but it's more because Rob is simply not the player he could have become I just think since that injury suffered back in 2018 against United he just has not looked like that same player and he was never fast in the first place but I believe he's lost even more of that speed how many times do we see him get burnt just go back to the FA Cup final and and look at when Christy Pulisic got injured. He basically just walked past Rob Holding. And Holding just didn't have the pace to recover. And so with the way that Arteta wants to play. I think we need faster players. Or if you're not fast. Players that are clever. And Holding just is in between. He's not on the level that we need anymore. And so with Arsenal in need of money. That some players are party and a war. I do believe Rob Holding is going to be high on the sell list for Arsenal. And after once we do get the confirmed arrival of Gabriel Magalhaes. We aren't going to need Rob Holding either. Because you've already got the likes of Mari, Saliba and Luis confirmed for next season and then you also have the likes of Mustafi and Socrates and even Callum Chambers so in terms of centre backs right now we have a lot of the club but lads what I'd love to know is out of all the centre backs who would you like to see Arsenal sell and also what are your thoughts on Rob Holding is he a player who maybe Arsenal should look to keep 
Or do you believe it's time to tell Rob Holding it's time to go? As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments below on Rob Holding, the transfers, incomings, and outgoings. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. But with that being said, guys, that wraps up yet another day in the Arsenal transfer window. Arsenal, give us some announcements now, baby. But with that being said, guys, I am going to end the video right there. Of course, as always, if you have enjoyed the video, so much sure to go down there, drop a like in the video, and also do subscribe to the channel if you are new. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments below on the play that I have discussed and any of the players that you like to discuss as well. Follow my social media and subscribe to the offside is the links are in the description below. But with that being said guys, we're going to end it there and there. In two days where we discuss the likes of Bubikaru Samare, Rob Holding, Asia McNiles, most importantly, it is time for us to wake up, get off the desk and announce some players and I'll see you guys next time in a bit.